Hello chess fans, fans of the beautiful game. This is Rick from Chess to Impress with the second installment of the series of opening debacles, a name suggested by one suge suggested by one of my dear viewers. This is a game between Bogomil Amdonov, Grandmaster from Bulgaria, and the Armenian Grandmaster Smadbat Leputian. And if you're from Bulgaria or Armenia, I apologize for my bad pronunciation of these names of these grandmasters. It was played in the Sochi Chigarin Memorial in 1987. Let's look at the game. Andonov was white and played knight f3, d5, c4, d takes c4, and white decides to win back the pawn straight away with queen a4 check, bishop d7, and queen takes c4, e7, e6, and then after white's d2, d4, we are in one of the main variations of the queen's gambit accepted. A normal move, uh, the most common move here is knight f6, but Leputian decided to play b7, b5. Kicking the queen, queen went to c2, and knight a6, with the idea to push c7, c5. Andanov played a2, a3. He wanted to prevent knight b4 or bishop b4, but it's using up a tempo which maybe could have been used for development. c5, energetic play from black. D takes c5, and here he could have taken back with the bishop, but he decides to take with the knight. And here, bishop e3, placing the bishop on an alt square, you can say, and this quickly leads to problems. Rook c8, of course that rook is looking at the queen on c2. A good move here for white would have been knight c3 to at least not have to worry about that indirect attack on his queen. And then after knight f6 and bishop d4, for example, followed by e2, e3 to then develop the bishop on f1, and the position is equal. Andanov played knight bd2, which is already awkward for him. Knight f6, just developing another piece and g3 Andonov shows that he wants to develop develop his bishop via g2 or maybe h3 queen c7 and now black has a threat but Andonov did not see it black is already better has very comfortable play but if white plays for example, rook d1 here, and then, for example, knight g4, which is good for black, but not an instant catastrophe for white. Another option to play is to play knight b3. After knight takes, queen takes, again, knight g4 is a good move, attacking the bishop. But it's also playable. Black is better, but there's still a long way to go. What white should not play is bishop g2, developing the bishop, because then we get the same combination as in the game. So let me show you what Andonov played. He played bishop d4, and that's a move that's very hard to understand. Yeah, maybe he wanted to follow up with e2, e3, and then develop the bishop along this diagonal, but he had just played g3 to move to develop the bishop 
the other way, so that doesn't make a lot of sense. Maybe he planned to play bishop c3 to shield the queen from the discovered attack. Anyway, it was a very bad move, it was a big blunder, because here comes the bombshell, knight d3 check, and Andonov resigned because he loses on the spot. He loses his queen because if he takes the knight to save the queen, then there's checkmate. Queen c1, rook c1, and rook takes c1, checkmate. So white has to take with the pawn, and then there's queen takes c2, and white is down a queen for a piece, and that is not nearly enough to play on. So resignation was in order, and it's interesting to see that even grandmasters can have these disasters, these opening debacles. Hope you enjoyed this, hope you find, found it amusing and instructive. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel. This is Chess to Impress, thank you for watching.